So thank you again to the Ashoka team, Stephanie, Anna Maria and Arno for this contest and to all the sponsors and partners. So now we have a short conclusion, Father Nicholas and me. Father Nicholas is a member of the board and he's also our spiritual director of the Zermatt Summit. <laughs> and so we will not try to repeat everything which was said in two days, don't worry. <laughs> we try to make it short. So, uh, first of all, I need to thank everyone who was behind the organization of the Zermatt Summit, which is uh, basically the team in my office, Jackie, Catherine, Marilyn, uh, Messian, uh, and, and, and other members of the board. And of course, we have to thank our wonderful um, artist, Veronique, who did these incredible drawings. <laughs> We want to thank you also, uh, all the social entrepreneurs, but also all the participants, all the speakers who came from far away, because getting to Zermatt is not an easy task, as you know, but it's a beautiful place. And um, so the first thing was thank you. The second thing was, I think um, there was a possibility for you to uh, distance yourself from the day-to-day -day work, which is you know, trying to answer some more profound questions. And this was the idea of the Zermatt Summit. This is why it's a little bit difficult to reach. But once you're here, you're a captive audience. <laughs> and uh, the idea was to take a bit of distance with the day-to-day -day work, and I think this was achieved. And third is that there was a lot of people connecting b in the audience between each other. And I really wish that uh, these uh, connections go on between you and also to come back here next year to tell us some of the good things you have done. Please do something with these connections. Don't just, I mean, like we said, the courage to dare was to move from ideas, dreams, to actions. And now I will give the word to, <laughs> to Nicholas, who has the difficult task <laughs> to, to come up with a few key conclusions from the, the summit. You know, somebody said once that the silence which follows Mozart belongs still to Mozart. And I will say that after was what we heard, about these witnesses uh, and about these initiatives we heard. Uh, it, it belongs to, to the tears and to the heart. I, I feel ashamed to, to say something after that. The second point, uh, I, I feel also awkward to talk now because it was written a uh, conclusion keynote, and it is neither a conclusion nor a keynote. <laughs> it's just some insight just to go further. The first point I wanted to underline is the courage to dare means to be able to, to brave dangers, to take up challenges, to confront fears. It's not, not to feel fears, it's to be aware of the fears, to be aware of the dangers, and then to go forth. Not to be afraid because there is another strength to help us to, to, to go further. And there is a kind of foolishness that we need today to go further. The second point I wanted to, to underline is the, the why question. Once a rider was crossing a village in high speed, and the people who were looking at him said, why, why are you doing, where are you going so, so fast? And the rider said, I don't know, ask my horse. <laughs> ask my horse. <laughs> ask my horse. <laughs> so maybe uh, we have this problem sometimes. <laughs> we just go on very fast without knowing where we are going. What is the aim, the purpose? We said that several times during this meeting, where we are going. And it's not just to be on the horse, but to, 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 to guide the horse. The second point is the courage to, to action. Once uh, a cat, Ramina Grobis, beautiful cat, but a uh, very dangerous one, was devastating a community of mice. And the mice decided to have a meeting to decide what to do with this cat. So many mice were eaten by the cat, and so they gathered together and have a lot of proposals. And at once, a mouse said, I have one idea. We could maybe put a bell around the neck of the cat, so that when the cat will come, we'll hear him coming, and then we can go in the hall and uh, escape him. And the decision was voted. Everybody agreed with the decision, it was the mice summit. <laughs> and uh, so 
they decided to, uh, to put a, a bell around the neck of the cat. The next question was, who will put <laughs> the bell around the neck of the cat? <laughs> who will dare to do that? <laughs> so I think we have to, 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 to go further. And uh, Dominique Pire, who, well, who has a Nobel Prize of Peace uh, during the 60s, said, action without knowledge is foolishness, but knowledge without action is cowardice. So, cowardice. So we need to, to go further in order to, to really uh, reach the, the result. The fourth point uh, is the joy of giving. The joy of giving. There is no other joy except the one of giving, you know. Um, the Nobel Prize of Literature, uh, Rabindranath Tagore said once, I slept and dreamt that life was joy. I awoke and saw that life was service. I acted and behold, service was joy. And I think we're all looking for joy. We're all looking for happiness, but maybe we search on the wrong place. The right place is to serve the other. Um, and that means that we have to change ourselves, to change our minds, to change our heart, to make the longest travel we have to do in our lives from head to heart. That's a long travel you have to do. And uh, the fifth point I wanted to, to underline is that the courage comes not from ideas, even the best ideas. The courage comes out of love. Mother Teresa once, during the Lebanon uh, war uh, in the 80s, uh, knew that there was uh, an, orphanage, an, orphanage. an orphanage with kids inside, but nobody to look after them. So she decided to go. It was on the other side of the green line. And so she, she had to cross the armies to go there. And the diplomat said, we did not reach a ceasefire, so you cannot go there. And Mother Teresa said, but the kids, and they said, but the bombs, the bullets, <laughs> uh, the rockets. And she said, but the kids. And there was a great discussion, one hour discussion. The only purpose of Mother Teresa was the kids. The diplomats were looking about bullets, about rockets, about uh, balls and bombs. And she went through. She said, OK, you did not reach a ceasefire. I will go, because I want to save these children there. And she went back with the children, and she succeeded. You know, the only purpose was out of love for the kids. Uh, and at the time, there was a journalist uh, following Mother Teresa for three days. And after three days, he said, uh, I wouldn't do that for one million dollars. <laughs> and Mother Teresa said, neither would I. <laughs> <laughs> but I would gladly do it for God's love. <laughs> That's something else, you know. <laughs> so we have to enter into this way of... Uh, of uh, gratuity, of seeing that if we do act out of love, our life we will change, really. And there is no courage without love. Because we love the other, we will commit ourselves. Otherwise, there is no way to commit ourselves. And even to, to, to confront difficulties, to confront either, even death, because we have the courage to love the other. And the last point I wanted to underline is that the source of love, of love we need uh, doesn't come from ourselves. Of course, we can love one another. Of course, we can do things. There was a small girl from Senegal who wrote once this poem. You tell me you love the wind, but you shut the window. You tell me you love the rain, but you open your umbrella. You tell me you love the sun, but you wear a cap. You tell me you love flowers, but you cut them. You tell me you love birds, but you put them in a cage. You tell me you love apples, but you bite into them. You tell me you love dogs, but you hold them on a leash. So please understand my fear when you tell me I love you. Yeah. <laughs> in, There, is, there are different ways of understanding love, you know. The love for oneself, uh, we talk about that, uh, self-interest, uh, and the love for the other, self-giving. It's quite different, you know, self-interest and self-giving. The only way of entering into the joy is the self-giving. But, but the source of, life, of, of love 
doesn't come from ourselves. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi was used to say, uh, I am neither a man of letters nor of science, but I humbly claim to be a man of prayer. It is prayer that has saved my life. Without it, I, wouldn't have lost, I would have lost my reason long ago. If I didn't know, lose my peace of soul in the midst of many trials, it is because of the peace that came to me through prayer. One can live several days without food, but not without prayer. And I think that the most important thing to, to take the strength from elsewhere, from above, everyone according to his faith, to his belief, to his way of uh, acting in, in this world, but to acknowledge that we are poor, that we are not able to spread the love that is necessary to change the world. Thank you, Professor.